Now we'll proceed on to the spleen. And the way we'll do this is we'll start off by finding an organ that we know, which we've just found the liver, so that's a good place to start. So we'll start at the level of the ziphy sternum in the sagittal plane. And we'll slide along the level of the ribs and the spleen starts to come into view. There it is at the top of the screen. What I now need to do is alter the overall gain, the time gain compensation, and the depth appropriately. First off, we'll start with depth. And that's occupying about three quarters of the screen. Looking at overall gain and time gain compensation, it looks pretty good. So we'll leave those alone. What we can now do is start to examine the spleen in a methodical manner. So we'll start at the cranial border of the spleen and we'll fan up and down and then slide caudally and fan up and down. Now we're at the tail. Fan up and down. And just like a radiograph, we want to see everything in two planes. So what we'll do is we'll now rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise and slide all along the, the portion of the spleen in a cranial direction. And we've seen the entirety of the spleen. It's important to remember when imaging the spleen that one of the motions that you can perform with your ultrasound probe is pressure. The spleen is not a fixed organ. The tail is actually quite mobile and the body as well. So when you're looking at the tail in particular, it's important to remember that motion of pressure. As you can see here, I'm not moving the probe, but simply applying pressure, and the spleen goes out of the view on the screen. If I release the pressure, the spleen comes back into view. It's on the left-hand side of the screen. If I apply pressure, and then release pressure, and the spleen comes back into view. So it's important to always bear that in mind.